What is going on everybody in the card community? We have a package here from the Rocky Mountains itself. None other than Ken's Cardboard. Mr. Ken Booth, let's see what he sent us. Actually, it was just getting the package ready to send you guys, so I love it. And look at that, he says right there, keep ripping for the Rockies. Well, pretty much any Rockies I rip, I set aside for you, man. He said he was going through the some 50,000 card collection. There are a bunch of angels from back in the day. I hope that you don't have some of these to add to your angels PC. Keep up the awesome content on your channel. And congrats on the one year anniversary. Woo! Thank you so much, Ken. He says, take care. And dude, literally I have a thing um, outside this room and I, I packaged it like the exact same way you did this. So I think that's super cool. Um, this is a perfect way to package cards and make sure nothing gets it's uh, destroyed and he even does it better than me because he gives you these little uh, handles to just peel off the tape. I usually don't go through all that much trouble. He is super special and above and beyond. So we have a package from Ken himself. I don't know how you wouldn't know Ken, but if you don't know Ken, awesome Rockies fan in this card community, go check him out. Check out the awesome videos he has. He really uh, embodies the spirit of the card community, I think. He's always talking about and thinking about others in the community and just perpetuating that uh, awesome thoughtfulness. And when we're opening cards, like when I open a box, I'm not just looking for angels. If I get Orioles or whatever, you know, all these different guys, if I get Rockies, I think I can. So it's a... Uh, Definitely a whole community uh, endeavor, engagement. And that's that's why we're here all for fun. To make this hobby even funner together. Much more fun, funner. How about this? Looks like we got some Tim Salmons. Ooh, nice hollow view FX. We got a little hollow foil. He knows I love SP, SPX. This is a pretty cool one. Insert from 90. Four SP, SPX. Not familiar with that, but that is super cool. Love it, love it. How about the red hot Tim Salmon? Love these red hot foils. Like a fire lava red hot pit from Pinnacle. Yeah, right there, 95 Pinnacle. Holy cow, look at the shine on that guy, woo. Reminds me of one of the Metal Universe. What do we got here? Let's flip it over. Dariner stats from 1999 Omega. You guys I know, you guys know I love Pacific. Diamond Masters. Holy cow, this is insane. Ken, we got some 97 EX. Oh, this is the EX2000. Very cool, which pretty much mimicked the 97 design, pretty much. Jim Edmonds, look at that. You got a little see-through plane, some clouds there. Very, very cool. One of the uh, cards that I have for you in your packages um, is a Todd Helton, and it's it's the Exquisite, which is looks just like this, except it's black with black clouds. So it's a pretty cool exchange there. I love it, man. Love it. Very, very cool. Uh, I don't have any of these cards. <laughs> Look at this. Anderson, Edmonds, and Tim Salmon. That was a fearsome outfield right there, that's for sure, back in the day. We got Jim Abbott himself. This is from the VJ Lovero Showcase. Tim Salmon, the Hammer Teams. Very cool, Mr. Sledgehammer Hammer Teams. Tim Salmon, he's like, oh, I don't know why I'm so good, I'm just so good. <laughs> the Special FX, I pulled a lot of these, didn't pull the Salmon. It's so super cool to have, look at that. The, in each one that I noticed, once I, I had a couple and I had them next to each other, this diamond that they do here is all, each player has a different shape to it. So I think that's super, super cool. There's even a red one that's die cut there, red FX, like 175 packs. Super, super amazing. Cyclone Squad. That's a cool one how it goes around in a pinwheel. Look at that, this is the UC3 
from 1995. These are these are super super cool. It's not super super cool cars. Not only just base cars, but also inserts and parallels. So I thank you a lot, Ken. How about a Garrett Anderson rookie from Fleer Ultra? We got Jim Edmonds doing his backwards <laughs> catches, of course. There's a salmon. I think that's like one of the first ones I had here. Going yard Erstat salmon and i was gonna say we had we had uh the other day opening some of these and we pulled a salmon and erstat but then like ken actually commented he said i opened a hobby reserve of this uh, 97 score and look at it right there the hobby reserve stamp parallels of which i didn't have these super super cool i, I love having the base and then parallels next to it so it's a very similar card, but not exactly the same. Very unique. Love it. How about some Jim Abbott upper deck? All over Jim Abbott at that time. Troy Gloss 2001 Chrome. 2001 Chrome. Look at how Topps used to do the etching. That's when the etching was real back in the day. Panini kind of just does it digitally now, but still cool. And how about that? Another one. So this would be the base card. That was the season highlight ones. Neither of which I had. I think the only one I had, I have this paper one. Season highlights. And look at this. More chrome, chrome, chrome. So we got 97 chrome. Old Tim Salmon. They're still doing the etching. You can see around his body there. The gloves. Love it. And 96. Jim Edmonds, Garrett Anderson. What I like with 96 Chrome, look at they get a little prism action, kind of a little diamond pattern in the background, like tiles. Very, very cool. It's almost like you looked in my PC and saw what I didn't have, and that's what he sent me. I swear, this is crazy. I, I think I, like, so far, that one Tim Salmon I had, and I think I got the Cyclone Squad. That's pretty much about it. <laughs> So super, super awesome, Ken. Very cool. I guess that's what you, uh, what you're going for. How about some holographics? Very, very cool. This boxes are pretty tough to get. I've been wanting to get some. Look at how they have AU for gold. The periodic table is really awesome. <laughs> that's from back in the day. This is 99, right? 19, 99. So it's pretty cool for a card. 99. Gotta love it. What do we got here? Uh, oh, Fleer Ultra Award winners. With a little gold hidden stamp there. Mr. Tim Salmon. Striking it rich there. Jim Edmonds, Aurora. Another Pacific one, that's 2000 Aurora. 1999, 2000, either one. They did them both years, I think. Gloss, Erstat, Salmon, Garrett Anderson. <laughs> Look at that four. Illuminations, Illuminators, Troy Gloss from Fleer Brilliant. The other day we got a package from Frank. He had some Fleer Mystiques in there. Look at there's Fleer Brilliance. Like I said, during that time, Fleer was all over the place. But look at these finest. These are my, my big four old angel guys. Tim Salmon, Darren Nurstead, Troy Gloss, and Garrett Anderson. Garrett Anderson himself, I like how they did the etching the side here with the baseball. That is super cool. That is super, super cool. Ken, I really appreciate it, my guy. I hope I put uh, enough stuff in that package for you. And of course, like you said, I'm gonna be keep ripping and setting aside those Rockies, my guy. Let's see if I can get this last guy open. Tightly sealed in place. Who do we got here? Oh, some more brilliance. This is from the year after, I think. Or that might have been the Illuminators, might have been an insert. We got Erstat, Salmon, and Troy Gloss. <laughs> and he knows I like the parallels. I guess by watching some Fletcher rainbows, you know, you know I like the parallels. How about this blue, Fleer Brilliance? Blue, Salmon, Troy Gloss. I love how they switched from, they got the silver and they did the gold lettering, and then with the blue, they gave him some bronze lettering that looks like like the city of Atlantis subset or something am I right just beautiful Ionics another one similar to holographics super super cool now this is not quite like a dufex 
design, pattern, whatever what's going on. I don't know what it is, but it is beautiful. Look at that from Ionics. This is 99. Yep, 1999 Ionics from Upper Deck. Couple more finest. <laughs> Look at that. Edmonds, Anderson, and Erstat. They all have the top's finest the protector coating on it, which of course, if I had these when I was a kid, I'd take them off right away. But luckily, I did not have these, so they are all still protected and on there. Just super cool. Look at it. Another one, Anderson, Edmonds, and Erstat. So before, this, these ones were 1999. We got the Gamers, Erstat. These are 1998. We also saw some before. Super, super cool. I mean, look at, look at that technology back in the day. We don't... I don't quite get the same uh, amount of technology or work, I think, into the cards nowadays because they make so many different kinds, but hopefully we'll get back there one day, maybe when everyone else has the logos. Ken, you are super killer, man. These are super awesome. I'm gonna have so much fun sorting these, putting them into uh, their, where they're supposed to be, the Airstat binder, short gloss, all those guys, salmon. So thank you, my guy. Look at that, all the way through the clouds. You can see <laughs> we've got some beautiful cards here. Ken, thank you so much. Check out Ken if you haven't, and if you're a Rockies fan and you haven't checked out Ken, what are you doing? Super Helton PC, of course, Larry Walker and all those guys. So as always, keep collecting. Care for the cards. Most importantly, though, care for each other. Just look at how awesome all you guys out there are. Appreciate you, and we'll see you next time.